over with it today I'll be showing you how to make a pi calculator in scratch. So let's just get right into it. To calculate pi you need a series. Today we are going to be using the Nila Kanta series. This is how it works. So it's going to say that it is 3 and to calculate the decimals it's going to make this infinite series. But we're not going to make it infinite because scratch simply can't handle it. Let's just get into coding this. So you only need one sprite called pi and two variables and a list so my first variable is going to be the pi symbol but you can just type in pi if you want the second one is dividend and the list is also going to be called pi the reason we're making a list is because it can hold more stuff than the variable now when clicked we're going to add hello to pi that is because we're going to be using the replace item one and that won't work if you don't actually have an item now, just like the series said, we're going to set pi to 3 and then set dividend to 2. Now, we are going to repeat a hundred thousand times, so 100,000 times, set pi to pi plus and then 4 divided by now this is what we saw here 4 divided by and now we just have to write this down so our dividend is already 2 so it's just going to be 2 times dividend plus 1 and then times dividend plus 2 okay now we will just insert that here we can just delete this and now we will change our dividend by 2 now we can repeat this process but instead of saying set pi to pi plus, we will be saying set pi to pi minus. And then just insert that here. And the change dividend by 2 should be there too. Now, at the end, we will replace item 1 of pi with pi. So what should it do after it loops this 100,000 times? Well, now is where it gets kind of messy. Replace item 1 of pi with pi minus. And it's really annoying what you have to do here because scratch can't run decimals, so we just have to do it manually. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And then 87 and put a point here that is because since you are not doing an infinite loop there will be some not correct numbers in there so that is to fix the problem okay now finally you can set pi to pi because now our large list number can go into our variable and we can just hide all the stuff and look at that guys we have a working pi calculator in scratch i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this